All right, Libra, so I'm here to do your um, <clears throat> extra September reading. You guys had, you were one of many zodiac signs with the most light, so that's how I'm going to start doing it from now on. Sexually frustrated, Libra. Okay, um, the setup. <clears throat> Broke, be alert, bitch alert. I don't know, I just say the damn thing. And Divine Feminine. And at the bottom, we have the Trusty Dusty F-Boy Vibes. So Aquarius, this could be you or whoever else you're dealing with. Somebody here is like a player type. They're running game. Um someone could be coming back around because they want some sex and they're sexual, sexually frustrated because their f-boy vibes caused them to lose someone that would be considered the divine feminine so in their quest they had to downgrade started going after just basic basic females that are broke. So it's like you had to trade this person. Traded in. A divine feminine. For the. F boy vibes lifestyle. So to be a player. So they could have cheated. They could have got somebody else pregnant. Um, and I feel like the divine feminine. Walked away from this. <clears throat> But first card out was sexually frustrated. So Libras, um, you or this person are not getting none. There's no other way to say that. I feel like somebody is in the doghouse. This could also be somebody like every time they have a spat or something with their girlfriend, they end up going out and basically turning into an F boy. Or they can't stop being an F boy. And that's what keeps putting them in the doghouse in the first place. So we have imagine and envision. So you can basically create your own story. You can make anything happen the way that you want it to. So if you want to be an F boy, you can make that. If you want to actually be an upstanding person, you could be that too. So it's like you choose how <clears throat> how things work or how things go. That's kind of like the magician card. Give in to passion. So this is kind of like the queen of wands. So I feel, I feel like you are giving in to passion. And that's the reason why you're in the doghouse or the person you're dealing with. So when I say you, 
if it doesn't make sense for you maybe it's somebody else but because you're giving in and indulging in things that you're not supposed to be doing connect with guy i think that's guy so grounded you need to get grounded so this could actually be you or the person that we're talking about could be broke and they need stability we have another grounding center here yeah you're needing to be stable you need to stabilize yourself <clears throat> because i feel like you're um your indiscretions have caused you to be in a situation where you don't have a and the setup now that i think about it somebody could have set you up to see if you would take the bait on something it could have been your girlfriend boyfriend maybe they were trying to see if you actually were doing something I feel like they were trying to see, they couldn't trust that you were being faithful and they just wanted to test it out. So maybe they set you up to see if you would take the bait on something and you ended up doing so, which left you without money, a place to stay, because we have grounding here. So it's like you, you chose this, you manifested this situation when you could have just walked away. That's crazy. And if this isn't you, Libra, then it's the person you're dealing with. So just be mindful of anybody that just pops up out the blue. It's probably because somebody else kicked them out. <laughs> or got rid of them, I should say. So really it's because this person had a lot of temptation and they just had no self-control. That's what I'm getting with this. That's too many parts. No self-control. And they lost somebody that was good for them. Oh, that's too many cards. Come on, cards. Okay, I'm just going to take these because they keep popping out. So we have commitment. So it says, I willing, willingly accept that it's safe to topple my walls and commit completely to a relationship. It might be one that's already here or one that's on the way. Either way, those walls have got to go. Without them, I can go further, feel freer, and love bigger than ever before. So basically... Someone here is having issues with commitment. So it's like they may try. They may try to say like, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. I could do right. And then they just fall into the same traps all the time because they have no self-control. Self-worth. I cast off all concerns about what people think of me. I know I'm a totally kick-ass person and my kick-assness can never be diminished by rejection. So people can think what they think and feel what they feel. In the meantime, I'll just keep on knowing what I know without thinking about what they are thinking about what I already know, I think. Okay, so this is just talking about having self-worth. I feel like the Divine Feminine got tired of this and realized that I don't need to deal with this. I'm out. And they realized their self-worth. Then you have teamwork. I'm determined to be a good teammate in all of my relationships. If we disagree, I'll resist the urge to place blame and look for a way to solve the problem together. When we're a team, everything's a game. And when we're on the same side, nobody can lose. So this, again, talks about there was no teamwork in this relationship. Like one person was doing one thing, the other was doing another. There was no cohesiveness. There was no cohesiveness in the relationship. So it's like these are issues that are presenting themselves. So this person that you were dealing with they were had commitment issues they couldn't just commit to one person even though they tried they wanted to but they had no self they had no self um 
Dang, I just said it earlier. I'm getting sleepy, y'all. I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> self-control. They had no self-control, so they couldn't stay committed. And that led the divine feminine to find her worth or divine male masculine to find her worth because she's like, I don't need to deal with this. Then teamwork was the issue. They didn't work together. They were working apart. You guys were working apart. And then it has levity at the bottom. Laughter is the best legal medicine. And it looks like it's time for you to take a sweet, sweet hit of it. When someone annoys you or plan goes awry, try finding something funny in there. And if you ever feel like the butt of the joke, remember that only that the only difference between someone laughing at you and someone laughing with, with you is that in the first version, you're not laughing. You always have the option. So opt to lighten up. It's legal in almost 200 countries. So basically, it's just reminding you that don't let this get you down. Like, still continue to be you. Still to be uh, continue to be happy. And um, you'll be able to get through this. So let's go ahead and see. <clears throat> We're going to see what you're feeling. So I know the intro I got, like, messed up. I'm, like, getting a little tired. But you can always switch the stories. If it's not your story, maybe it's the person that you're dealing with. So you can always switch them if needed. I cannot shuffle, so we're just going to act like that. It's not gonna So we have three of pentacles. So that's under sexually frustrated. So I feel like you actually knew that there were other people involved in this situation. So you chose to remove yourself physically because you did not want to get caught up in anything. And then we have the tower in reverse. So it's like you found out because either you set it up or somebody else set it up, but it was a setup. And you found out it caused a lot of issues and now you're trying to rebuild. Because the tower moment is something that comes to like the, the climax. And it's like, it has to come crashing down because it's like you've gotten to that highest point. Something's got to give. So now you're trying to rebuild from that. We have the King of Pentacles here, <laughs> right underneath Broke Bitch Alert. And then we have Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like you've invested financially into this relationship as well. And this person took from you, they took your money, and you slowly are trying to work on getting that back. So when I say taking your money, um, I mean like you may have bought them things, they lived with you. You maybe foot the bill for them, paid everything, and now it's like you have no choice but to get rid of them, and they're broke. And you are trying to rebuild your money because you wasted money on this person. That's what I'm picking up here. Yeah, Six of Cups. This is somebody that you've been in a relationship for a long time. Been in a relationship with for a long time. <laughs> someone from your past. Um, someone that at some point made you happy. And now it's like... Where do you go? There's butterflies here, so it's about transition. So it's like this person's not the same person that you knew from back then. Like they changed. We have the strength in the upright here. So you're you're finding your power. Like you're able to be strong and know that there's other things out there. And that this is just one one more thing that you're going to have to get over. Like your, your strength is really high. Like you are not afraid of the aftermath of what's going to happen. Because obviously if you're divine feminine, you're not going to suffer for long. 
Yeah, we have nine of pentacles in reverse. So this again is about finances. Like you're trying to find your beauty again. You're trying to find your finance financial um path again. Because nine of pentacles is somebody that is like living in the moment, living lavishly. So because you wasted your time and your money on this person, it's like you have to like rebuild yourself. And you're strong enough to do it. It's just that it's like, you know, you, you have to rebuild. Like, no one wants to do that. Then you have Queen of Swords. So I feel like moving forward, you're going to make sure that you have a guard up. Like, you're going to... <laughs> that's like the rest and bitch face. Like, to be able to protect your peace, because there's a lot of white birds, doves around her. You're going to protect your peace by not allowing everybody in. So, you're going to be guarded with this Queen of Swords. You're going to actually get to know them a little bit more. You're going to study them, watch them. And if they're not giving you what you need as far as the um, peace side of it, you're going to drop them. And at the bottom, you have Eight of Cups. So this is about somebody walking away. So definitely, <clears throat> Libras, you will be walking away from this situation. Because you can't trust this person. That's what that is. Like, you can't have your trust in this person. Oops. So let's see what your person is thinking about. All right, so your person wants to talk to you. We have the Eight of Wands here. So that lets me know that the communication has been cut off. And they want to come in and talk to you about something. I feel like they wouldn't like reconcile. We have the Two of Pentacles. So this is over the Tower in Reverse. So they are aware that by them juggling multiple people or two people or multiple things, it caused you to lose trust and leave. So they're aware of their what they've done. The other party involved is aware. Okay. I'm not taking all this. They are highly aware of what they've done with this two pentacles. Like they didn't put as much into one that they did the other. So I feel like the new person that came along, they started putting more into them and it was like you were in the background fading away because you weren't of interest to that person at the time. <laughs> High Priestess, so secrets came out. Yep, the secret came out about this other person. And I said earlier it was a setup. Maybe you had done it to see where this person was coming from or you had a friend do it. You know, maybe make a page or talk to him and see or her and see if they were um, going to take the bait. But the secret came out. Yeah. It was a lot of struggle and arguments. Five of Wands. It was like you were in competition. You did not want to be in competition. This is like a competing card or an argument or a fight or hostilities. Like you didn't want to be in that. And this person put you in that because they had no self-control. That's like the word of the day is self-control. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot this is <laughs> about your person. My bad. So their secrets came out about... And they're struggling with this. I think they're struggling with the fact they lost you. That's what it is. Sorry. But you can take it too about yourself. You did not want to compete with anybody because you're divine feminine um ten of cups 
your person um, still wants to have a happy family with you. <laughs> they still feel that there's a chance. They may want to communicate that with you, you know, try to come back in and say, hey, you know, I didn't want to, I missed you and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But we have the King of Cups here. This person's not going to show you emotion. So even though they want to communicate with you and they want to have a happy family with you, they're not going to let their emotions out. <laughs> Like, what is the purpose? So we have Page of Cups. <clears throat> like this person, I think they had an idea that, oh, I can, I feel like they felt that they could go ahead and do both things. And they created this like illusion in their head that what they were doing was not bad. We have the world. Dang, I said that wrong in the last one. We have the world card here. So that means that some type of ending or cycle is going to close out. And then we have the um, three of swords. So there's a lot of pain with how this ended. Your person is, is hurting. And it's like, I don't want to give them the benefit of the doubt because they shouldn't do what they did. But they're hurting behind this because they know that they broke your heart. They know they caused pain. And they still want to work on this. So there's eight of pentacles here. Like this person still wants to work on this with you. Like they see positive outcome. They see a positive outcome. And then right underneath that, you have three of pentacles. So it's like they have a positive outcome. But then they still want to have pe too many things too many people going on too many people three pentacles because they're impatient like they don't have self-control at all they cause these problems and look temptation was right there the devil card it's like they don't want to struggle it's like right when they feel like they're getting over struggling or getting okay it's like bam the devil card comes back in hmm. all right well aquarius that's your guys's reading extra reading for september hopefully it made sense um i'm kind of tired so if i don't make sense we're gonna blame it on the tiredness but <laughs> you guys let me know how you like that all right.